Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how to create a machine learning style smart camera. Essentially what it will do is when you point it at an object, it will try to guess it with the highest accuracy. To get started, open up Xcode. Create a new project and then let it be a single view app. Name it something like smart camera or maybe machine learning camera, something like that. Then I will save it to my desktop for simplicity. I will make my window a little bit bigger. And first you want to go to main.storyboard. In main.storyboard, drag in a label. Bring it to the very bottom. Then make it cover the entire bottom and center the text and add constraints. All right, that is pretty much it for the view controller. Now to move on to the code. First, import AV kit and along with vision. Then Go down and we want to add the AV capture video video data and it's a data output sample buffer delegate. Then go ahead and go down and set the IV outlet for the label. Just to, I'm going to name it label for simplicity. Then go ahead and go to the view to load. First, after this, you want to set up a capture session by typing in let capture session. And it's equal to an AV capture session. It's an empty initializer. And then set the session preset. To photo. This will make it the size of a square so that it won't cover the whole screen. Then we will make sure that there is a capture device. To do this, type in guard let capture device and it's equal to an AV capture device dot default. Media type is dot video. And if that doesn't work, then return. The second guard will see if there is um, a input. To do this, go ahead and again, let input equal try. And you're going to try this AV capture device input and the device is capture device. And else, just return. All right. Then we will add the input to the capture session. The input will be, again, input. And finally start the capture session. All right, now let's define a layer by typing in let preview layer is equal to an AV capture preview video, sorry, preview layer. And again, the session is a capture session. Then add it to the views layer. The layer again is preview layer. Then set the size of the frame to the views frame. Preview layer dot frame equals view dot frame. 
All right. Now we have to define the output. And it's equal to AV capture device video, sorry. Capture video data output. And of course, that's an empty initializer. Then we will set the delegate itself. And for the queue, you can either do the main queue or make your own, make up your own. To do the main queue, type in dispatch queue.main. Or if you want to make your own, then type in parentheses, label, and then put in a custom name such as video, video queue or camera queue. And remember this for later. Then add the output to the capture session. All right. That is pretty much it for the view to load. Then we must define a function for the capture output. To do this, type in, we have to, I'm pretty sure there is a, a fill in for this, but it's capture output and it, the, it's did output sample buffer. For me, that's the second one. And it's from connection. All right. First, we want to test if it works. To do this, if you're going to test this on the fly, type in print camera was able to capture a frame or a photo, then put in the date. But I'm not going to do that. First, I will define a pixel buffer. And again, we're gonna need a guard statement. Let pixel buffer is equal to, a, and we have to define the type of a CV pixel buffer. And it's equal to a CM sample buffer. Sample buffer, get image buffer sample buffer then if it's else then just return all right then we must define the request and that's equal to a vn core ml request Of course, the model, or sorry, before that, we have to define a model. To do this, again, we're gonna have to guard this. Guard let model equals try VN core ML model. And for, and here, this is where we have to define our model. And to do this, you must go ahead and open up the file. To do this, there's Apple actually allows you to go ahead and download some models. And what we're going to be using today is ResNet 50. It's one of the bigger ones and it works really well. It's one of the best models. First, go to developer.apple.com slash machine learning all right then scroll down and look at the model section find the ResNet 50 and download it it should show up in your downloads folder if you see right here 
then drag it into your project and add it to the targets otherwise it this will not work you can see the models right here and it doesn't work right now because you must add it to the target to do this go to the right and select the target for target membership and then it should work then here you can see if we, we can type in resnet 50 dot model and that is our BN core ML model and of course there's gonna have to be uh, else and again as usual return then for the request let there be a model inside and it's going to be model all right then we will find the results to do this we must do guard let results equal to finished request oh sorry there's also some extra components in here for the request. There are some extra parameters for this. VN core ML request. And we must do the second mod. And again, it's model the completion handler. We will break out. And first, we will call the request finished request. And then the error just error. For the code, inside the code, we're going to define the results. The result is equal to the finished request. And it's dot results as a array of BN classification observer version else then again just return all right then this is a part where you can tell what the object is print the first observation or sorry not in quotes but print the first observation Sorry. Before we do that, again, we're going to have to define the variables. And again, some of this is, I'm just going to clean up the indentation. Okay. Great. After the results, we have to, again, guard that first observation and that's equal to the results dot first else again is return we're getting some warnings here again we can just ignore them because we're going to need these variables all right then print the first observation dot identifier and then first observation dot confidence and the confidence is the percentage that the computer is sure what the object is all right then we will need to set the text for the label. To do this, just type in self dot label dot text this is equal to again inside. If you don't remember this, you have to do the back for for backslash and then two parentheses and then first you can type in variables. First observation. Dot identifier and then 
After that, again, we are going to type in, uh, I forgot, first observation dot confidence. All right. And then go outside of the loop. So you can just check right here and make sure that you're outside the loop. And then finally, try to do the VN image request handler. And we are going to look at the parameters. And again, it's a CG image and then, or the CV pixel buffer and then options. The buffer again is a CV, is a pixel buffer that we set earlier. The options is going to be just an empty array and then dot perform requests. And inside again, it's just an array of requests. And that is it for the code. Now let's link up the label. Again, I'm gonna add a few lines to make sure that we don't overflow the text and then connect it together. Now again, this doesn't work on a simulator. You have to do this on a physical device. I'll see you then. All right, now it's time to add in a few more things that will make our app work. The first one is the camera usage description. First, open up the info.plist. Then add in another element. For the category, type in privacy and find the camera usage description. This will be used that, so that we can ask the user if we can use a camera. For the value, put in something that you want the user to allow you to use the camera. Like we need to use the camera to detect objects, something like that. And that is it. Now you can go ahead and run. All right, now that we have finished the code, now it is time to give the app a try. If you open the app, you see that it gives you the message telling you if it, you would like to access the camera and I will tap okay. You can see this is my desk along with my laptop. And if I, for example, if I bring this remote up, it takes a little bit of time, but you can see that it does say remote control and with a pretty high confidence rate of about 90% and up. That is my microphone. And it may take some time because it thinks the microphone is something like a syringer. Let's see. This is an electric fan. And you can see it, it is a microphone. It says it's a microphone and it's about 92% accuracy or confidence, sorry. And you can see over there, there's a camera. And there's many other things. You can, you can also detect the mouse. It may take some time sometimes. There we go. It says it's a mouse with about 70% accuracy. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from it, over, mostly. Uh, you can go ahead. I don't really care, but I will post the source code below, and you can use it in any way you want. That way, you don't have to watch this entire video through, but you can go ahead and download the code and test it out. I mean, it's a pretty cool thing, but remember, you have to do some setup, such as downloading the ResNet 50 machine learning model. All right, see you in the next video.